Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about flow rate sensor and this is very important topic if you have taken the sensors and measurement or sensor and instrumentation course in uh, your engineering, electronics and communication engineering. Okay, so let us discuss. Okay, so by hearing the name of the sensor itself, that is the flow rate measurement sensor, you can uh, have a recall of your uh, older days concept of physics okay a school days concept you may have uh, studied this type of sensors already and you may think that i am going to discuss that only but no this is going to be different what probable concepts may come in your mind so that is one maybe pitot tube okay right in fluid mechanics you have studied this in your class 11 physics or Venturi meter also, Venturi effect uh, based sensors also we have studied. But no, we are not going to discuss those topics because uh, those are uh, those are also applicable. Those, those also measure the flow rate. That is fine. But in this video, I am going to show you with respect to some other principle. And the principle is nothing but the strain gauge. Okay. So already in my previous video, I have explained in detail about the working of the strain gauge. See, basically strain gauge is nothing but based on this principle that is R resistance of a wire. What we know that formula R is equal to rho L by A. That means if L increases then what will happen the resistance will also increase. So that this is the basic principle that uh, due to application of the force what happens in this strain gauge the length of the wire increases and as a result it will increase the resistance and we measure the resistance from the proper calibration from the resistance we can have an idea how much force is acting on the sensor see basic uh, structure already i discussed just have a quick recap for detailed explanation you can check the link or i will post of uh, the link of my previous video you can check there okay so see direction of force we are applying here and here in this way we are applying the force so as a result what will happen this is nothing but wires which is uh, kept in this manner in this fashion and what will happen as we are applying force in this direction so the length will increase and as the length will increase the resistance across these two terminal if you consider this terminal as a and this as b so resistance across a b will increase and from the increment of the resistance from the change in the resistance value we can uh, have an idea that how much force is acting on this sensor okay this is the basic funda of strain gauge and this concept we are going to use to determine the flow rate okay now see very interesting sensor who have made this he or she is obviously a genius see uh, the working is quite simple you can understand easily see basically this is one flexible beam understand how i am uh, showing you that only so flexible beam is this one that means if we apply force it can bend and uh, due to elasticity property of this beam it will again uh, go to its previous or original position if we remove the force okay that is the basic idea now in the walls of the flexible beam we are attaching strain gauge okay see here i will show you by another color if it is not visible properly see here we are keeping strain gauge okay see this blue color highlighted portion okay and on the top of the flexible beam we are providing one drag element suppose one ball is there okay and this is wall suppose this is total uh, this is one pipe okay consider this is one pipe and through which liquid is flowing fine and we just uh, have attached this setup this setup with one side of the wall and liquid is flowing now as the liquid is flowing what will happen the liquid uh, the flow of the liquid will produce a force on the beam and as we are providing here one drag element or you can assume like one ball so the ball will try to move in the direction of the flow of the liquid right so as a result the beam will bend because the beam is flexible it is not rigid right so as the beam will bend so what will happen there will be force acting on this strain gauge okay and due to application of the force in this strain gauge what will happen the resistance of the strain gauge will change and from the change in resistance we we'll have an idea that how much force is acting on the beam due to application of the flow of the liquid 
so that basically what we can conclude that from the proper calibration uh, from the change uh, by the proper calibration from the change of the resistance in the strain gauge we can have an idea that what is the flow rate of the liquid okay if flow rate is more the ball or the drag element will go in the direction in this direction more so as a result beam will bend more so as a result force acting on the strain gauge will be more so as a result resistance will change more that means there is a proportional relationship you can understand easily obviously no hard concepts no quantum mechanics or no Schrodinger's equation nothing is there simple uh, structure which can can be explained by basic physics concept that this drag element will be move, will move towards the flow of the liquid as a result it will produce force due to which there will be change in resistance in the strain gauge because the basic fund of strain gauge is that the resistance changes whenever force is applied okay so this is how apart from the concept of Peter tube or venturi meter apart from those concepts by the uh, concept of strain gauge also we can measure the flow rate of a liquid okay so i hope you have understood this concept if uh, you have any doubt on this particular topic strain gauge that how it works how uh, change in uh, how due to application of force uh, resistance changes that you can check the link i shall post my the link of my previous video where i have explained this strain gauge in detail and this is all for my this video for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you